three. Balance the following equations. And then they give me this nice equation. I have Na solid plus H2O liquid yields NaOH aqueous and H2O gas. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this because they don't really give me like a lot of space to put my coefficients. So I have Na plus H2O and I'm yielding NaOH and then H2O. Oh no, 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 Christina, just H2. And notice that I don't put the states in because honestly, who cares? Who cares what state they are? That has nothing to do with balancing. So you can just like disregard these. This, this makes absolutely no difference. You're just focusing on your uh, elements. Okay. When we're starting off learning how to balance equations, I highly recommend doing a chart. It's a two tier chart. You've probably seen this chart if um, you've been watching previous balancing questions. We know that the left side is the reactant side always, and the right side of the chart is the product side. The reactants are always your starting material. So that's always going to be on the left hand side of this equal sign, okay? The products are always the right-hand side of your uh, equal, well, I said equal sign. You could kind of think of it as an equal sign, uh, yield sign. So this is your starting material. They will react together to form your products. Now, when we're doing our chart, we like to separate everything into elements. So I like to go from left to right and just state what elements I have. So if I am working from left to right, I have Na, that's sodium, that's an element. I have hydrogen and I have oxygen. Those are the only elements on this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna replicate this on my product side because law of conservation of mass says that you can't create nor destroy anything, right? It's just transferred, right? So your elements that you start here have to be the elements that end up here. Now I'm just going to tally up how many I have of each. So I go back. I like to just start with the reactant side. So it just says sodium. It just says Na. That means that I have only one of them. So I have one sodium. For my H's, I see that I have a two here. So that always goes with the element before it. So I have two hydrogens and I have an oxygen here. There's no subscript here. So it's just a one. And now let's see what I have on this side. Well, I have a sodium here. There's only one of them. So one hydrogen. Now I'm doing hydrogen because it's the second one on my chart. I have hydrogen here and I have a hydrogen here. So you just have to add them up separately. Literally, there's a plus sign here, which means add. How many hydrogen are in this compound? There's only one here. Plus, how many hydrogen here? Two, right? So one plus two is three. So there's three um, total hydrogen on here. And I'm just going to erase this because, you know, I don't want to get it confused if we're dealing with other elements. And then now going back to oxygen, there's only one oxygen here. So one. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I have two hydrogens here and I have three hydrogens here. Let's see. There's really no easy way to go from a two to a three right? So this is kind of like guessing and checking. We're going to basically guess a number here that will work for our product side. Now, in this case, let's see. Hmm. I just like to always bump up the number by one and just check to see if it works. So let's just say instead of me having one H2O, I'll put a two here, but I have to be fair. This two now is being multiplied by all of the elements in that compound. 
So how many hydrogen do we have now? Two times two, right, is four. So I have four total hydrogen. And now how many total oxygen? Two times one was two. Okay, well, this really looked like this didn't do me well at all. I didn't balance the hydrogen and I messed up the oxygen. But it's all about guessing and checking. Let's see if I can correct it, right? Because sometimes happy accidents turn into the right answer. <laughs> Said by Christina Glazer. <laughs> okay, so I have two oxygen on the side. Let's try to balance this because I can just take this one and multiply it by what to get to two? Oh, I can just put a two here, right? One times two is two. So let's see if that will correct our little happy accident. Remember, we can only add coefficients, right? And the oxygen was only here. So I have to put a two here to balance the oxygen. But whatever I do, remember, I have to distribute it between all of the elements in that compound. So I just like to run from the top, you know, from left to right. So how many sodiums do I have now? I have two. Oh, gosh. It's like, Christina, what are you doing, right? But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We have faith. We now have two oxygens. Okay. And now we just have to pay in mind that we need to take into consideration all of the hydrogens. So I have two hydrogens here, right? Because the two... There's two hydrogens here, plus, how many hydrogens were here? Two. Two plus two is four. Oh my goodness. Look at that, four and four. We balanced them again. And we balanced this. The only thing now left is I have two uh, sodiums and I only have one here. So how am I going to balance it? I'm going to put it on the lower number, multiplied, one times what will get me two? Oh, two. And there we go. And now all of the numbers are nice and balanced. So we should have had a two, a two, a two, and a one, right? There's no coefficient here, so just make sure that that's a one and not a zero, right? There's secretly a one here, one H2. But that's it. Now it's balanced. Now we, we, we did it. So yeah, this one was, this one was fun. This one showed you that it's okay to make mistakes because you can correct them. It wasn't really a mistake, but sometimes you basically have to change the numbers in order to get the right number back. But anyway, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments if it did. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I love helping you guys out. And subscribe to the channel if you want to, uh, you know, be the first to see your, your chem questions coming up on the feed. We got math videos. We got physics videos. So whatever you need, we got it. All right. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope you have a great day. And keep studying hard. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.